Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You've reached Natural Vibrations. So this today's reading is all about uh, what is blocking you from union with a person. Um, this can be anybody that you're thinking of. Could be a soulmate, a karmic, a twin flame. It doesn't matter. This is, applies to anybody. It's uh, what this time. Obviously, you have to take what resonates because this is a general reading. Uh, it's what's blocking you guys from union at this moment. Uh, I this is the second time I'm recording this reading, which is why three cards are already out because I had a slight issue with my dog. As you guys know, I do have a doggy, and sometimes he can be a little demanding. <laughs> So I had to sort of stop the video and I didn't feel like editing. So I'm just restarting. Okay. Uh, once again, these are general readings and may not apply to everyone. If you wish to book a private reading, you can log on to my website, naturalvibrations.in. I would also really, really request you guys to please like my channel. So uh, subscribe to my channel so that I know you guys like what I'm doing and you you know you want more videos and so you can also stay updated on all the videos I release so you can click on that bell button and I'll give you notifications all right okay so what I've done is I first picked uh, the cards for your partner on what is blocking them from union and I got three cards of the similar color which is the lower chakras which is in <clears throat> intuition individuality and music now, what this is telling me is that this person that you're thinking of isn't true, is not coming towards union because they haven't really embraced who they're meant to be. The individuality card, if you look at it, it's 11, 11, you got 22, we've got 32, which is number five, which is all about change. This is telling me that this person is not really, uh, you know, not really because, uh, being true to themselves, not really becoming who they're meant to be. They're not really trusting their intuition and finding that harmony within. They need to find that harmony within as well as have harmony outside themselves in the world they live in. And that comes from being true to who you are, not holding, not wearing a mask on who you're supposed to be and trusting your intuition and not letting the 3D world control what you're doing and what you want to do. But this is one of the reasons why they are blocked because they're not really being true to themselves. They're not really, you know, being true to who they're meant to be. <clears throat> All right. The universe, the gods and goddesses. This was the numerology deck. This is Mystic Moon's uh, Twin Flame Oracle. Please watch me just on this reading. for all people watching me. Why are they not in union? What is going on with their partner? Why are they not in union? <clears throat> all right. Why are they not in union? What's happening with their partner? Okay, additional messages. What's going on with their partner? What is blocking their partner from union? Okay. Aha. We've got third party. Now, this could mean, and oh, wait, we've got, ah, new direction. Okay. So the third party, and this, what this could mean is that the reason these guys are not being true to themselves and not trusting their intuition is because they could have a third party situation. This could be another partner in their life. Uh, they do want to go in this new direction, but they're not taking the steps to sort of um, take this new direction. And this new direction could be towards you, but they're not taking the steps towards you because there is another person or another situation involved that is blocking them. What else is blocking them, universe? What else is blocking them? Tribe. What this is telling me is that they don't feel like they truly belong. They don't have like-minded people that can help them get in touch with their individuality. All of you watching readings or all of you are in, you know, who are on, you know, follow communities and pages like mine, it just means that you've found a space where you can connect with like-minded people, where you don't feel alone. But I feel like your partner hasn't found, you know, the tribe hasn't found the kind of people that will support you. This could also, you know, like-minded people. And our tribe is a positive card. So what I'm feeling is the people around them are not very supportive of the new direction that they would want to take. And this could be towards you. This could be about trusting themselves, being who they want to be, you know. And the people around them are not really trusting or not, like, supporting this. So they really need to find or be around people who understand them and support them. Okay, too many cards are falling out. 
What else is blocking you? What else is blocking their partner from coming towards them, from you again? All right. Hey, hey. We've got inner child. Everybody has to deal with this stuff. And we've got surrender. Okay. They've got some stuff happening from their childhood. Okay. Some stuff that's making them not really sort of come towards them. Maybe... The reason they can't be their true self, that who they're meant to be, is because there are patterns from their childhood. And third party could also be karmic patterns that are holding them back. These are things that have affected them while they were growing up through friends, family, life situations. You know, if somebody had a difficult childhood or somebody felt unloved or un like they were or felt like they were unsuccessful or felt like they couldn't be who they want to be or whatever it is. This is stuff that they need to heal from within. They need to surrender. You know, there's a lot of stuff happening with them. There could be a lot of fear, could be a lot of guilt, could be a lot of anxiety to do with the past, to do with their inner self, that they really need to let go and surrender to the universe. They've been holding on to this, whatever it is from childhood within them, and they haven't truly healed. Until they truly heal, they're not going to be able to to come towards you because they don't feel you know, they don't feel like you know they're not being supported they don't feel right about it <clears throat> all right you know what else is blocking this this person yeah there you go accepting help from others they they're not so this could also mean that you know they may have a few people around them that can help them but they're not aware of who their tribe is. They haven't gone looking for the right people. And they're not accepting help from people who can help them. This could also mean not accepting help from the universe. Not accepting help from the divine. You know, that the, you know, the universe always helps you come into contact with... Uh, um, I'm going to put this right there. Come into contact with who you're meant to be and what you're supposed to do and the lessons you're supposed to experience. But sometimes we just don't want to hear it because, you know, we do have free will. All right, one more card. What else is blocking this person? All right, there you go. Healing. They, it's all about the inner child healing. It's all about gaining knowledge about themselves, about what's really holding them back. They need to heal. And I feel they need to heal. this something within them that's happened to them in their childhood that's been their hurt that's affected their inner child that they really need to surrender and they can do that when they start and then they can start being who they're meant to be and find that harmony and start trusting their intuition which is telling them to come towards you but right now they need immense amount of healing which is not happen all right so now what we're going to do is let's pick a card on what's the uh okay no yeah, let's do what's hurry. I'm just thinking what to do. What steps are they going to take to, towards you in the near future? Okay, how about that? What steps are they going to take near you or towards you? The universe, what steps is this person going to take towards the person watching this video in the near future? What steps are they going to take towards them, towards union? What steps are they going to take towards you? All right, we got pride. Interesting. Spiritual career. Moderation. Okay. What this is telling me is that in the near future, they're going to start working on their spirituality. Now, spiritual career does not mean that you need to become a reader or a healer or whatever. That could be the case. But it just means doing something that sort of is in line with your higher self, you know. And I feel like individual, individuality card is very in line with this. Maybe they're doing something or they're being a certain way or they have the kind of life or job or something that isn't actually aligned with their highest good, which isn't aligned with who they're meant to be, who they're deep down, their soul longs to be. And I feel like soon they're going to start taking steps towards what is actually their spiritual path, their spiritual career. There is pride and then there's moderation. So what this is telling me is that maybe they have been too proud, you know, the ego mind may have been preventing them from taking these steps. And maybe now in the future, they will 
you know, sort of do this in moderation. They will allow their ego mind to take control in moderation so that their soul mind or their heart space can move forward. The other good thing could be that they need to sort of be proud of how far they have, how far they have come. You know, maybe they're not proud of what all they've accomplished. Okay, they need to take things in moderation. They cannot be so all or nothing. You know, they. I. I. I mean, for me here, the pride card is seeming as a negative, which means they need to take this in moderation, and they probably will. They'll probably be less full of themselves in a way, but not. I don't think they're full of themselves in a negative way. I think it's more of their more of their ego mind controlling them so that they don't get hurt and face reality. And that's also not good, but we all do that. We all our ego minds try to do that so that we don't get hurt, you know. All right, universe, what steps are this person going to take towards the viewer? Bound. They're still bound. Let's see what else comes up unawakened yeah they have a lot of work to do what steps are they going to take in the near future numbing okay so unfortunately i don't think they're making a move towards you okay understanding so that's some hope some glimmer of hope what else what more actions are they going to take towards our viewer in the near future big dreams compromise okay so unfortunately at the near in the near future it's not looking very positive but i'm gonna pick some more cards see which is why i thought i was getting a negative vibe from this pride card i feel like if they don't let the, if they let their ego mind take control they wouldn't be able to concentrate on their spiritual path so they need to really do this in moderation i'm gonna pick two more cards and then read this what actions the universe what actions is this person gonna take towards our viewer Rebirth. All right. We have one positive card. Yay. So actions. There you go. Joy. Okay. Thank God. I was a bit worried. I'm like, no. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I feel they're going through this path. So I, okay. In the near future, they're not going to completely be like, yeah, I'm healed. Union has happened. I feel like they're in the process, okay? We've got bound, unawakened, and numbing. So this is where they are. They're feeling very bound. They're not awakened to their powers because they're not trusting their intuition. And for that, because they sort of numb themselves. When you numb themselves, you don't feel pain. You don't feel anything. You don't even trust your intuition because you're just numb. You're just doing the day-to-day, nine-to-five kind of job. So what I'm getting from this is that they, this is where they're, go they're going to be. But slowly, they're going to start understanding that what they really want in life. They're going to slowly start understanding that all their dreams are possible, you know, and how to make that happen is by not compromising your beliefs, all right? So they're going to be in the near future, they're going to be still working on this, but they're going to be heading in the right direction. Because we've got rebirth and joy here, this is telling me that they're going to be heading towards rebirth towards truly finding their happiness, all right? Towards truly finding their happiness, which is hopefully with you, right? And that can only happen when they start focusing on what they truly want. So this is like a process. So in the near future, they're going to go through this process. And, they, and this, I think, is going to continue for a little while. It's not going to happen overnight. But they're going to soon realize and understand that they cannot compromise their beliefs any longer with this third party situation, with this karmic cycle, whatever it is that's holding them back in the karmic sense, in the third party sense. They cannot keep compromising what they truly want. And then they're going to start moving towards you. So yes, there is positive news, but they have a lot of work to do. They're feeling very bound right now. They're not trusting their intuition. They're in a situation that isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to serve them well. But that's where they are. Now let's work on you. All right, universe. The person watching this video, what is blocking them from union with the person they're thinking of? All right. What is blocking them? Okay, universe. The gods and goddesses. What's it going on? What is blocking them from union? What is blocking them from union? 
relationship change interesting self-love I know all of all my twin flame feminine are gonna if they're watching that they're gonna be like you keep saying this shit <laughs> what else is blocking the one more card thank you nature all right honey or guy could be a guy watching this video too so honey would apply to all of you you gotta work on yourself all right you don't re you know the thing is okay Relationship change is blocking you. Now that's interesting because what it's telling me is that I know you want this union to happen, but maybe there is a part of you that truly doesn't feel that this union is going to happen because you don't truly deserve it. And when you feel like you don't truly deserve it, you kind of send out the energy that, oh, I shouldn't have this union because if I have this union, I wouldn't be good enough for it and this person will leave me again or I can't make this person happy or this relationship won't work out, whatever the case may be. So a part of you is sort of resisting this change. Just a, a part, and I know all of you are going to be like, no, but I want union, but it's time for a little introspection. There is a part of you that is resisting this change and that could be to do with self-love. And also nature. Now, nature is all about connecting to the to the Mother Earth, to Pachamama, to connect, grounding yourself. There's too much negative energy around you in the sense of negative thinking, self-love, doubts of self-love, doubts of worthy, the worthiness aspect. If you ground yourself, which is in meditation, walking on, on the soil, walking, like, sitting next to a tree, it will help you be in touch with nature and help you ground yourself from this. But the biggest lesson here is you've got to work on your self-love. We all think we love ourselves, but deep down, most of us don't. And this is a product of our society and how we're meant to live these days. If you were... Um, if you are still in, you know, living with in the olden days where you were connected to nature and you believed in more esoteric way of living and, you know, things like that, you will be more connected with your higher self. But right now, you know, society and everything has sort of changed how we are. So you got to focus on self-love, guys. You really do because that's the most important thing. All right. The universe, what else is blocking our viewer from union. What's blocking a viewer from union? The person they're thinking of. Oh, you've got new direction as well. Interesting. This is for a person who's watching this video. What is blocking them? See, I feel it's funny how both. <laughs> All right, this is a very strong message. You got self worth again along with self love. So I can't make that up. We've got news which is finding your muse, finding what makes you happy, finding what gets you excited, uh, finding what, um, see, there you go. I said, what did I say? Contemplation, introspection. This is contemplation. I don't know if you guys can see that. What else? What else is blocking this person from union? All right. All right, some of you may be in a twin flame dynamic. Some of you may be in a twin flame dynamic. All right, so what I'm getting here, okay, I'm going to pick two more cards for you first. <laughs> the universe, the gods and goddesses, please tell me what is blocking the person who's watching this video from union with their counterpart or the person who's thinking or what is blocking this person. Restriction, that's a blockage of themselves. You are blocking yourself. You are blocking it. Spirit connection and synchronistic events. Okay, you're blocking. Okay. So your partner knows what the, you already understood what your partner has to do. But you are what's going on with you guys is whoever's watching this, of course, if it resonates, it resonates. Some of you may be in a twin flame dynamic, first of all. So the separation is part of the healing process. Okay. You guys need to, in order for you to take a new step, you are blocking this new step. You know, you're blocking. I'm getting, see, you see, relationship change, new direction, restrictions. It's all coming as blockages. What this is telling me is that you, a part of you is blocking this, from, this union from happening. 
and that's because deep down you don't feel the love for yourself you don't feel worthy of it you don't feel worthy of your partner you don't believe that you deserve love for example if you are the kind who tells people oh all my relationships always fail i'm just giving an example you may may not be saying that but a lot of people say that oh i always end up with guys who cheat on me or i always end up with people who are blah 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 that is you that is your story you're telling yourself that is saying saying that you don't truly deserve someone better right so what the universe is saying is that this is a time for you to figure out sit in quiet contemplation this is time for you to take a step back ground your energy and understand in what makes you passionate about yourself the muse card to me is about finding your muse and your muse cannot be your partner your muse has to be something else something that drives you and if you're in this twin flame dynamic you need to find your mission work what makes you truly alive what is your purpose on this planet what drives you i have two muses if that makes sense music is part of my work that's what i've been doing for the past 18 years but now healing for the past couple of years has been part of my journey so i have two things that i'm passionate about and that's obviously not counting all the other hobbies you may have same way you got to ask yourself what truly drives me what brings passion what ignites that fire within me and follow that you are the, you have to be your own muse in a way you have to drive yourself now what the raven is telling me is that the universe has been sending you signs the universe is talking to you and magic is coming to you but you are not really seeing it the universe is helping you along the way to allow this from happening from allow this union for a, a, to happen but you are blocking it and that's because deep down you don't truly believe this is worth it or you're worth it or you'll really get what you deserve a lot of self love work has to happen for you guys all right i'm going to now ask what steps you should take all right because an advice because if you are watching this it's more about what advice you should have okay so dear universe what advice can you give to to me to give to the people watching this video to get union and to fix their lives come on <laughs> okay we got this again it's telling me only you can change your world if you want your world to change if you want this relationship to change you got to do the work you got to take the steps we got change again again this is a very powerful message you have the power to change this dynamic you're in you have also got to do the work okay there you go we've got self love we've got nature again again this is telling you you've got to do the work which is you got to focus on self love you got to focus on grounding your negative energy you got to focus on changing yourself and changing this story that you keep telling yourself change letting go of the past past wounds not just with this person but in your life changing your life for the better and only you can do that dear universe what other advice can you give the person watching the video what advice can you give to get union raising your vibration raising your vibration is very very important that goes again is by changing your vibration if you have if it's a vibration of loving yourself where you truly believe you deserve it along with having a vibration of i already have what i want because i get everything i don't need to ask for anything because everything i want is already here remember law of attraction is all about knowing that what you want is already here rather than wanting it because the outside world is a reflection of your inside world if you guys haven't checked out my video on how to manifest and how to use law of attraction please do check that out on my channel because it tells you how to go about it the outside world reflects what's in your inside world so if your inside world is all about i want this i want this you're basically saying you don't have it yet and the, you you have to basically come from a place of i already have it and we've got destruction we've got fear okay release and surrender beautiful again you got you and your partner have very similar cards which is surrender um what this is telling me is 
one more card if you like one two. all right we got two grief forgiveness there you go all right what this is telling me is there is part of you that is in on destructive mode which is what's not allowing the change to happen you have to stop trying to ruin whatever is being built by tearing it down but what you also have to destruct is the fear is the grief you have too much fear and for about the future about making this if this relationship will last if this relationship is worth it whether you are good enough you have pain from the past that you need to heal the universe is saying this is a time for you to release and surrender all of these things this destructive pattern that you have in your life that you keep holding on to you got to release the destructive patterns in your life you got to release the fear you got to release the grief and you've got to surrender to the universe you have to surrender and forgive yourself and forgive people that are in your life that have harmed you or that have harmed you in your past please understand forgiveness is not for the other person you don't have to go up to them and tell them you forgive them by releasing the pain and the grief and the fear and offering forgiveness within yourself you release yourself from the pattern see you release yourself from the from the old dynamic only way to do that is by surrendering and forgiving and you don't have to do it in person right it's just you in your heart space forgiving them sitting in contemplation and forgiving the person but facing the reality dealing with the feelings and letting it go once and for all all right i hope this reading was helpful don't worry things can change but you got to do the work all right guys if you wish to book a private reading you can log on to my website naturalvibrations.in please do like and subscribe to my channel thank you